Hey guys, myself Shantan Vasu. Today I'm going to show you how to install SDL Web 8 on a single machine. So before I start the installation procedure, I just want to tell you that uh, the steps are properly defined on the document that is provided by the SDL. So for that, you have to go to the docs.sdl.com and uh, there you can find the document that is available for SDL Web 8. In that document, if you go into the uh, installation SDL web part, there is a sub uh, link for the single machine example installation guide you have to just click on it if you open that one you can see all the steps that is provided over here so in this video actually I will go through all the steps and show you how to install it in your machine so let's move uh, to uh, my single machine and see okay guys uh, so first step is you have to create your uh, virtual machine on your own laptop or desktop uh, so as you can see over here that I have already created my uh, virtual machine and which is ready for the installation of web 8 so remember when you load your virtual machine for the first time you have to load it with Microsoft Windows Server 2012 R2 and also remember it should be 64 bit so here uh, I have already opened my prerequisite document. Yes, here you can see that uh, the operating system should be Windows Server 2012 R2 x 64 bit, so which is already installed. So uh, next, uh, you have to add uh, the role of web server and the application server over here. And um, for um, that, I have installed the IIS 8.5 to host my web 8 like uh, internet information service manager is already installed i have installed it from the add role and features so you can um, add it in your own machine first next is you have to install the dotnet framework 4.5.2 okay i have uh, missed to mention uh, about the oracle javite you have to also install the oracle javite sorry for that um, uh, but you will um, get all the, uh, this prerequisite list on the sdl documentation uh, that is well defined over there so the next is um, you should be ready with your database as well so for a database I have installed over here the Microsoft SQL Server 2012 SP2 which is compatible with web 8 so once the installation is done then just go for the protocol for SQL Express you can find it from the MMC setting for the SQL Server click on the TCP IP and check there uh, the port 1433 is properly opened or not so if it is not enabled over there you have to just put that 1433 and uh, just click on ok so we will now go for the next step which is your database installation for the CM so uh, let me um, uh, open the database yes yeah, so you can see here uh, these are the default database which is available over here as of now you cannot find any database for the CM so next step is we will install the database first for that I will use the PowerShell script so um, you will find the uh, find those scripts um, uh, over there in this document as So first um, open it as an administrator next is uh, you have to uh, move to that um, folder where you have store all the installer file like here uh, two folder I have one is for the license file and another is for the installer uh, installers so first I have to go into the database and as I'm ch I have choose the Microsoft SQL server over here so I have to go into this uh, path like MS SQL so let's open the mm, PowerShell yeah so let me go into that um, path yes uh, so here in the directory first I have to go into the web 8 next within web 8 there is another folder called web 8 and then the core database and ms sql okay okay so I am now within that folder so let me check the script 
okay so uh, here I have already uh, write the script just copy and paste it and when you enter yeah it will find uh, it will ask for the database server name uh, so here it is mentioned that uh, the default value is uh, local but you can put your own database name here you can see my database name is tradient dev slash SQL Express so I'll uh, copy it from the properties and put it over there okay so yeah, I have uh, provided my user ID and password for my database so next it will ask for the database name for CM uh, so um, here I'll put it as a tradian underscore CM so uh, you can see over here the script is uh, recommending some default value uh, for every step so I will always recommend you guys to go for it because then it will be easier when you install the web page. okay next it will ask for uh, some uh, another user if I want to add but I will go for the no uh, so next it will uh, uh, ask you to provide the proper uh, MTS user account so you have to put the uh, MTS account and uh, also it will ask for the administrator account so you have to put all those steps okay so <coughs> once uh, you provide all the information about the user then it will ask um, do you really want to create the database with this specified settings you have to just put a yes and once you enter it will automatically install the CM database okay so here uh, you can see my database is ready so if you check uh, there is a new uh, database called tradian underscore cm with the proper table and all the, uh, the other things so I'm ready with the CM database the similar way I will install uh, my uh, topology manager database as well So here is the script for that just a similar way you have to uh, uh, hit that script and it will ask for the proper user details.
So here, here you can see that uh, my um, uh, 3D underscore topology server database server is also ready with uh, the, all those tables. So next is I will install the, the content data store. So same way I have to uh, put the script over here and I have to put all those details. now uh, my broker database is also ready so here um, you can see that the three that new databases you have one is for CM one for broker and one for topology now I'll move for the next step so uh, the another step I will recommend you uh, store this information in a document and keep it ready with you because this information will be required when you install the web page. So um, I don't want that at that moment you should go to the database again and again and check all those information. So, so far we are uh, very good uh, because we have already installed all the databases that is required for a web installation. So now uh, we will move to the installer file for the CM. So here in this folder you can see that there is a exe for SDL web CM. Just click on it. Once you click, it will open a window with some default option that is already used. So I will go for the default installation. But if you want, you can choose this audience manager, user generated content and translation manager. But here I have unchecked because I um, don't want to install this now. I'll uh, uh, install it later as per my requirement. So um, in the advanced view, we can see what the options already uh, we have chosen. So next is the destination folder. Here you have to provide a proper path. So I'm choosing uh, my own preferred path over here. So it's a C, 3D, and an SDL web. So next, um, I'll put the same value over here for the content manager website destination folder. So next is prerequisite. So it will check for the pre, uh, prerequisite softwares. Uh, if it is already installed, then it is OK. You can go for the next step. That is the system account. So for system account, we have already provided the MTS user information in our database. So we have to put the password only. See here, it is already recommending you the default values. So uh, for the database, I'm choosing the Microsoft SQL and I have to provide my database name over here. So my database name is Tridian dev slash SQL Express. Okay, so I'm choosing the database name as a um, uh, Tradian underscore CM and I'm providing the password that I have put for the TCMDB user. So it's very simple. Next, uh, the same kind of information you have to provide for the topology manager as well. So all the different values are there. You have to just put the password for that. Next is your environment ID. Uh, so I'll recommend you to go for the default value only. So uh, next is the enter properties for creating a new website for the content manager explorer. So here uh, the description is HDL web. I'm not providing any IP address. So it is all unassigned. Now I have to put a port number. I'm uh, hosting it on uh, 81 port. So um, if you want, you can change it, but uh, the recommendation will be always go for the uh, default value that is the 81. So next, 
is uh, same for the topology manager for my topology manager is hosted on the 82 number port so next is uh, the user d user d group these are the default one so but and the next is url what will be my url next uh, the license file it will check for the license file so i have already shown you where i have installed uh, stored my license so i have choosed those license file over here so once done it will show you the sum summary so all the configuration before the installation is done so now i will just uh, click on the next so um, it will uh, take some time to complete uh, the installation and once it is done then a finish button will be enabled for you and it will ask you to restart the machine so you will just click on the finish and restart the machine okay so mm, once you back again uh, just go to the services and here you can see all the services that is related to the SDL is already installed if you go to the component services there you can find the compliance is installed and it is running next if you go to the IIS you can see your Atridium cited site is already hosted over there so so far uh, good so uh, the next step is I should recommend you to uh, check whether the tradian underscore home and the Java underscore home these two environment variables are there or not if it is there then you are uh, good with your installation So now you can open your browser and click uh, you, the URL. The URL will be always a localhost colon 81 slash SDL and test. So that's it from my end. So now your CM is installed. Thanks. Thank you guys for watching this video. So I will uh, share uh, how to install the CD for the Web 8 on my next station. Thank you.